It's the Morning Sports Report at TribLive.com. Ken Laird, Tim Benz, and Marquise Pouncey is lost for a significant period of time. The Steelers center believed to have suffered a broken left leg at yesterday's Steelers third exhibition game out of five. Tim, uh, not a whole lot of ways to spin this in a positive manner. I suppose the best you could do would be to say, at least it's early, at least they've been through this before, but that's not going to make anybody feel better over there right about now. Oh, you could spin this positively if you're Rich Eisen. I don't know if you saw what Rich Eisen, NFL hired mouthpiece, had to say about no, the I NFL preseason. Uh, Rich said in the uh, trib, they picked this up, tweet of the day, even if the league cuts the preseason into half to two games, injuries like the ones to Nelson, Pouncey, and everybody else could have happened. Hashtag no solution. No, there's a solution. Eliminate the preseason, Rich. <laughs> Get rid of it. I don't care what your league benefits. I don't care what your network benefits from when it comes to the preseason. Guys are getting hurt in the preseason in meaningless games, just like Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers said, there's no reason to have these games aside from lining the pockets of the owners, which don't need to be lined. And oh, by the way, what do uh, Pouncey and Sweezum cost? Pittsburgh Steelers in terms of salary, a couple million dollars. Whatever they made yesterday was shaved by a couple million dollars over the last three days, three games, I should say, between Sweezum and Pouncey due to the injuries now that they've got guys that won't be able to play for the rest of this year. So consider that. Now, did you mean positive for the Steelers? No, there's nothing positive from the Steelers you can get from Marquise Pouncey being hurt. You know, some people have tried to do that already because Cody Wallace isn't that bad. Yeah, you're going to a center who isn't that bad from an all pro Pro, this is bad. The, nobody wants to see backup players. However, nobody wants to see rusty players either. There is some degree of importance for the preseason. You've got to admit to get the lesser lights involved and ready to go for the start of the season and get the veterans a little sharper. We've seen those Thursday night games, Tim. They're brutal. You know, with the teams. Well, they're also brutal because they played a, a real game the Sunday before True. in a lot of cases. True. You know, this this whole thing about, well, it's going to be rusty football for the first four weeks. I'd rather see good players rusty in a real game than bad players having to play in a real game because the good players got hurt. I'd also rather see rusty players in a real game that counts than the real players playing in a meaningless game that doesn't count just out there for the sake of risking injury. Again, it's Aaron Rodgers, Hall of Fame quarterback, maybe the best player in the league telling you that these aren't necessary to get the offenses up to speed. For him? Is he talking about himself or the rest of the I don't care. If he can team. do it, if he can do it, then everybody should be able to do it. Well, he's he, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, then he's better than everybody else. I mean, maybe Marquise the next Pouncey guy, needs some reps with his line mates. Marquise Pouncey needs reps. Marquise Pouncey, who's had three seasons basically lost now due to injury, early in season, he needs reps. He got hurt eight plays into the regular season opener. So this that, guy just You know has what? That bad... happens because that's a game that counts. All right, I can stomach that. It sucks. It was rotten when it happened, but the game mattered. It was part of the season. This is a joke. Better now than in the regular season opener. Why? We'll why why is it better now? Well, we begin the healing what process. What difference does it make? Week 10, healing process? Week 12? What, what week do we mean 16? the healing process? It gives them time to find another Fernando Velasco, I guess. <laughs> but hey, he apparently they already have one in Cody Wallace. They kept Cody Wallace. More of the preseason coverage to come at TribLive.com.